From our Center for the Art Studio, this is your AU TV 20 News Break. I'm Anna Bolowski. Thanks for tuning in. Ashland University welcomed a new tradition this fall semester. The inaugural white coat ceremony was held, recognizing a transition from classroom to clinical education for the Masters of Science Physician Assistant Studies program students. Melissa Irwin, program director, describes this coat ceremony as a, quote, rite of passage to the patient world, end quote. Students in this master's program studied clinical medicine, patient assessment, clinical skills, pharmacology, and therapeutics and assistant practices and professionalism. Congratulations, White Coats. Good luck in your clinical year. Heads up, fellow aerospace fanatics, a new museum dedicated to the history of aviation is set to open in Mansfield this Sunday. The Frank P. Lom Aviation Museum is at the rear of the Mansfield Memorial Museum at 34 and 40 Park Avenue West. Brigadier General Frank Purdy Lom was born in Mansfield in 1877 and was instrumental in procuring the first military plane from the Wright brothers for the U.S. Army Signal Corps. In 1906, Lom was sent to Europe to study aeronautics and won the first Gordon Bennett International Balloon Race. The museum, which features various artifacts from Mansfield's rich aviation history, will be open on October 2nd from noon to 4 p.m. Subsequent hours are the same as the Mansfield Memorial Museum, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturdays and noon to 4 p.m. on Sundays. At least 15 people, including 11 children, were killed after a man opened fire at a school in central Russia on Monday. Local authorities said that at least 21 more people were injured in the attack in the city of Iveshk, about 600 miles outside of Moscow. Among the dead were two teachers and two security guards. The killer was identified as 34-year-old Artyem Kazantsev, a former student of the school. Kazantsev had killed himself following the attack. His motive is still unclear, but the Russian Investigative Committee is investigating, quote, neo-fascist views held by the shooter, who in the video released appeared to be wearing a t-shirt with a red swastika. President Vladimir Putin's spokesman called the shooting a terrorist act. Now for a look at our five-day weather forecast here in Ashland, Ohio. It is finally feeling like fall today with weather that is mostly cloudy with a high of 61 and a low of 46. Tomorrow we'll see scattered showers with a high of 57 and a low of 45. Wednesday we'll also see scattered showers with a high of 56 and a low of 43 degrees. Thursday will be partly cloudy and Friday will be mostly sunny with respective highs of 60 and 66 degrees. That is it for your AUTV20 news break. Be sure to follow us on social media at AUTV20. I'm Anna Bolowski. Thanks for watching.